Hi, I'm Mike Reese from Sea Ring Catamarans. I'm the general manager and I'm on board the 1160 Light, and we're going to be looking at the outboards. Outboards on a multi-hull have been used for many, many years and especially at Seawind. Our Seawind 1000, which has been our most popular model, we've built over 230, were all built with twin outboards. And for many people it's a, it's a really good option and I'll, I'll just run through you some of the reasons why. The initial cost of an outboard versus an inboard diesel is obviously much lower, so your, so your initial cost is far, far better. Um, but more importantly, your ongoing costs of maintenance and eventual replacement are, are obviously lower as well. For servicing, um, there's, a, there's far more people, far more service centres readily equipped to deal with a variety of outboards than perhaps your, your recognised inboard diesel um, service guys. Now, actually on the boat, you can see there's some, some physical advantages as well. On the 1160 Lite we've got here, um, we've got the uh, Yamaha 25 option. We also have the uh, Honda 20 as standard on board. But in terms of access and servicing, you can take this off and lift the lid up further and you can gain access, you can take the lid off and you can actually pull the outboard right the way up through this hatch. Having an outboard on board a, a, a multi-hull is fantastic. Obviously when we are sailing we can lift the outboards right out of the water and that reduces our drag. So sailing performance is, is far more improved than having an inboard diesel. Likewise, um, if you are sailing and you, or sorry, if you are motoring and you do get your outboard caught on a line, it's very easy to simply press the tilt button, raise it up, and it's much easier to, to detangle anything you've got caught around your prop. From here I can reach down, whether it's from this side or you can actually go over the back, much, much easier. You don't have to go diving to, to, to see the prop. Two of the other advantages of the outboards um, versus an inboard diesel. When you do take the outboard leg out of the water when you're away from the boat, you're obviously less prone to corrosion as well. So keeping the outboards out is going to give you better longevity. The other thing with an outboard is it's actually typically much lighter than an inboard diesel. So on the Seawind 1160 Lite, we've um, produced a boat where you've got full vacuum infusion throughout the boat and it's a much lighter product and having outboards is all part of that process of making this boat a little bit more lighter and uh, improving the performance. Okay, with the outboard engines outside in the, uh, in the cockpit area, we obviously create a lot more space inside the boat. So let's have a look inside the Seawind 1160 Lite and we can see that space. Okay, so we've got a large space in the back here. Now this customer has actually elected to put in a generator. So um, you can see fully installed here. We're still running off our port side fuel tank that we would have used when we were using inboard diesels. So we've got plenty of space under the bilge to run a fuel system for this. And he's got a, uh, a Fisher Panda generator set up. That means the forward locker, the sail locker, is still completely open. Lots of uh, space for storage of sails or whatever equipment he needs. Okay, with the C1160 Lite, we've got the outboards in the back um, with a fuel tank for that. It's a single fuel tank, petrol fuel tank, and we use it in the sail locker here. It's a plastic roto molded tank, 270 litres, and as you can see here, we've got a couple of extra jerry cans for this customer as he's about to do a long passage. So he's looking to take about 600 litres with him on board for his long journey out of Vietnam. Thanks for watching. If you want more information about this or any of our other products, you can jump onto our website www.seawindcats.com. Hope to see you again.